by a water side a pair of lovely milkmaids there i chanced to spy one of them was fair as fair as fair might be the other she was brown with rolling wanton eye cider to make syllabubs they carried in their pails and sugar in their purses hung dangling at their tails waistcoats of flannel and petticoats of red before them milk-white aprons and straw hats on their head. Well, fare you merry milkmaids that dabble in the dew, for you have kisses plenty when ladies have but few. Just then, strange how that girl gets off with a man, with her head wig waggling on her long neck and her hair straggling down her back. 
past ten of the clock she'll get up in a daze and spend the morning lacing her stays she wouldn't go to the Whitson fair because of the trouble of getting there and if she be common to half the town is to please her back that she lies down such a long lazy slug of bed won't have her sleep out until she's dead and the judgment trump may split the skies though it should break her i doubt if she'll rise The people of coming days will know about the casting out of my net and how you have left times out of mind over the little cords and think that you were hard and unkind and blame you with many bitter words. Now, as at all times I can see in the mind's eye, in their stiff painted clothes, the pale unsatisfied ones appear and disappear in the blue depths of the sky, with all their ancient faces like rain beaten stones, and all their helms of silver hovering side by side, and all their eyes still fixed, hoping to find once more being by Calvary's turbulence unsatisfied, the uncontrollable mystery on the bestial floor. And 
shall prevail when none cares whether it prevails. 